yeah very good morning uh in this session now i am going to discuss about uh excimer laser eczema lasers or that is eczema lasers okay na uh, here the last class till now we are uh, already discussed in previous sessions what is the, the classifications of the lasers uh, solid state lasers are there liquid lasers are there semiconductor lasers are there gas lasers are there okay na here i already completed these are the types of the uh, classifications under the uh, lasers the next laser the last laser in this unit that is a uh, eczema laser eczema lasers what is this eczema lasers uh, what is the construction where we are using this eczema lasers how it is working what are the applications of this eczema lasers now i am going to discuss now okay now here what is this before now i am going to that uh, first of all what is this eczema lasers here uh, the term it indicates that what is this eczema the term eczema stands for excited dimer yeah the eczema that is the stands for that is the excited dimer here an eczema laser is an ultraviolet laser you remember this when anyone they are asking what is that eczema laser it is a it is an ultraviolet laser that uses a compound of noble gases and uh, halogens and a uh, halogen as its gain medium that is the combination here what are that in eczema laser different gases now we are using combination of the gases we are using okay na for the lasing action here of uh, uh, examples of examples sir uh, uh, it's being uh, what is this eczema lasers first eczema lasers for the first eczema laser of this that is uh, that is the wavelength of the first eczema laser uh, 193 nanometers 193 nanometers of the particular wavelength of the uh, nanometers what is that argon fluoride laser that is the first laser is a uh, that is argon fluoride laser the first laser of eczema laser is argon fluoride laser the wavelength is that is uh, that is uh, equal to that 193 nanometer after the development of the uh, eczema laser that is different types of the lasers are there in this a uh, krypton fluoride laser eczema laser the wavelength of that uh, the lasing action we are getting output of the lasing action we are getting 248 nanometers and uh, xenon silicon eczema lasers xenon fluoride eczema lasers these are the xenon silicon uh, eczema lasers the wavelength is 3 308 nanometers and xenon fluoride eczema laser the wavelength output beam wavelength is that is 350 nanometers okay this is one the practical how the uh, eczema laser is there this is one type of the eczema laser in this eczema laser uh, have the characteristics it's being uh, to oscillate the exceptionally high efficiency for uh, uh, for losses in the ultraviolet range and enabling comparatively compact hardware and are applied in a variety of fields such as industry and medicine and uh, vision correction surgery such as lasik here for the vision where we are using that for a particular high vision surgery operation we are using this eczema lasers okay next coming to the construction how it is the construction of eczema lasers as we know that how the structure of the laser there are the three mediums are there active medium and that uh, laser uh, laser medium is there again that is uh, there are the three mediums are there uh, basically what is that pump and the gain and the optical resonators we know that here also in a eczema laser also there are the three mediums are also there that is this here uh, what is the first one is that pump that is energy source this is the pump the energy source and the gain medium and an optical resonator okay na optical resonators first there are the two types of optical resonator fully reflected mirror and partially reflected mirror okay na from the partially reflected mirror only we are getting the output of laser beam in any laser uh, now coming to the pump 
here what is whatever that we are giving that input supply or the input voltage uh, input uh, input the pump provides the energy which is amplified by amplified by the gain medium in this gain medium that is amplified the energy is eventually converted into light into light and is reflected through the optical resonator which then emits the final output beam yeah when we are the energy eventually converted into whenever we are giving that uh, energy light uh, whenever we are giving the uh, some source so one type of the source of the energy that is amplified by this in this gain medium okay after the gain medium it is amplified it is converted into, into in this portion only the gain medium the energy is converted into the light the light is reflected by using this reflector then we are getting some laser beam output this is the basically operation of this this laser and construction of this laser and like most gas lasers eximer lasers power is provided by an electrical current source the laser medium is a tube filled with three different types of gases and the tube is there that is the tube it is filled with the three different gases first one is a noble glass and the second one the halogen glass and the buffer glass and third one is the buffer glass in that noble glass different types of the gases are there argon krypton and xenon gases are there and halogen glass halogen gas that is fluorine chlorine and bromine gases are there and buffer gas typically neon or helium gases we are using for the construction of this uh, what is the particular uh, tube of halo eczema laser okay this is that basic structure of eczema laser okay na? the image below says that out of the basic part of an eczema laser many such lasers include an integral fan of source reduce the device correction okay here eczema lasers here in this this is the reflectors and this is what is this uh, there are actually metal electrode one metal electrode is there and one more pre ionization system what is this pre ionize for the to get that amplification now we require one pre ionization system here this is pre ionization system and gas circulation fan now we are getting gas circulation fan now give a, for that external force external voltage purpose we are giving external uh, voltage purpose we require power supply unit okay this is basic structure of uh, eczema laser now working coming to the working of this eczema lasers here eczema lasers relay uh, on that interaction between the noble gas and the halogen gas to produce the high power beam here in this eczema eczema uh, laser particular tube is there and the tube is and the tube there are the two types of the gases are there the gases are noble gas and halogen gas uh, to when we are filled with these two gases uh, on the particular tube and uh, now we are getting the high power beam output laser beam output the current the current source pumps the gas medium using very short high voltage pulses okay and transmitted through metal electrodes the pulse excites the gas atoms and cause them to fuse together into the atomic pairs that is called dimmer here that's why the eczema lasers are it is called as the eczema transfer excited dimmer excited dimmer how it is excited from the pulses excited as the atoms and uh, causes them into the few together in the atomic pairs called the dimmer for example what are that example pumping an argon argon fluoride and laser causes asymmetric molecules of argon fluoride to form and eczema lasers here eczema only remains bound in the excited state only when the atoms are excited from the lower energy level to the higher level, level uh, energy level the atoms bonded in the excited state that means excited state means that is higher level so the following the pulsed electrical discharge the atom separate once again well active region while the active through eczema emit a burst of electromagnetic radiation before quickly dis disassociating into separate gases 
this rapid dissociation <laughs> molecules molecules uh, to absorption of to absorption of emitted radiation emitted radiation making it possible to achieve high gain using a relative small uh, concentration of eczema the radiation is then are uh, re reflected by mirrors placed at the both end of the tube okay next coming to that coming to that applications where we are using this uh, eczema lasers actually this eczema lasers are uh, we are using uh, the principal the principal advantage of eczema laser is is that they are capable of providing a very small precise spot at a very low ultraviolet wavelength and eczema lasers are excellent for removing excess material through the laser absorption due to the fact that they are able to precise destroy material with little to no thermal build up generally these are we are using in surgery application eye surgery especially this eczema lasers are we are using in eye surgery applications for the removal and cancer uh, cancer application cancer uh, for the surgery of cancer also we are using this eczema lasers this contracts with carbon dioxide lasers with which lay heavily on the thermal build up to boil off material during absorption and photo uh, photolithography and especially in the semiconductor manufacturing purpose we are using this eczema lasers these are wide applications of eczema lasers where we are using that eczema lasers that is laser vision correction spectroscopy and the uh, fbg writing micro machining and pulse laser distortion high glass marketing diamond marketing and uh, mask inspection purpose we are using this eczema lasers here this eczema laser these are the applications with this eczema lasers are completed here coming to the once again i am repeating this is the working of this eczema laser here eczema lasers how they are eczema here in this construction when we are giving uh, any external force any uh, supply voltage then the in this tube actually there is a car, uh, combination of the there are the two gases in the two gases the molecule the atoms are it is excited from the higher level from the higher level when it is comes from falling down from the higher level to the lower level it will emit some radiation that radiation is directly proportional to the to get that radiation output uh, output of the laser beam this is eczema lasers thank you